Hey guys, uh, sorry for the major delay in sending these out. These are the three giveaway winners. We're sending these out. Um, I'm actually really surprised Work Journal didn't do some of the other giveaways. He usually like competes in all of them. Uh, let me know if you aren't getting it. Uh, I only go based off the address you give me. So I am mailing out giveaways. Um, so if you haven't been getting any of the giveaways Work Journal, I know you've won, won like three or four times. Make sure you uh, let me know. Make sure you give me the right address. Uh, and we'll go from there. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to show the other sides for, you know, animosity for these people's addresses. But uh, three winners. Uh, I know it's been a little while. Had some renovations done. Been doing a lot. Um, uh, and then mentioning also about giveaways. Uh, don't tell me what your giveaway. Uh, no one's done that, I don't think. Uh, it's not, I, I don't mean to sound spicy. But this question that I have for uh, everyone watching is... Um, let me know how you want me to do giveaways. So a lot of my giveaways have just been comment first, comment fifth, tenth comment, third comment, fourth comment, comment this how many times, uh, comment something funny. Um, I'm down to hear how y'all want me to do some of these contests and giveaways and go from there. Um, I have some ideas of uh, some cards to give away again. Um, so just let me know. Um, I know one thing, and I haven't picked a card, and I haven't really picked a prize, or if, if we, we, we will probably will base a winner off of it, but off my previous video showing the Shadowless Charizard and Shadowless Blastoise, make sure you comment a guess on the PSA grade. I know I don't give you guys a super great view, and you don't get to see the back of the cards, but it is just a guess. Um, the way we're going to do that, if we do decide to use that as a uh, contest video, is uh, whoever guesses, um, like let's say the Charizard comes back at PSA 6, Whoever ended up guessing six first by going from newest comments for Charizard will win something. And whoever guesses, like let's say the Blastoise comes back in eight, and whoever guesses like eight for Blastoise. So make sure you're specific with your comments. And you can do it all in one comment. You can say Charizard six, Blastoise eight, and, uh, and we're just gonna go off uh, whoever was first. Please just guess once. It'll mutually not gonna matter. We're gonna go in, in order of uh, who got the PSA grade correct in order of that. So if you're seeing this video, definitely jump back to that video and comment as quickly as possible. We don't have the prize decided for that yet, um, but we will figure that out. But yeah, just letting y'all know, I'm mailing out them giveaways when I get the chance. Um, I sent the Charizard and that Blastoise to PSA today, so that will be very interesting. Um, the Charizard's on Super Express, so it'll probably beat the other 15 cards that I sent in from the free vouchers. Um, so we'll see. Uh, it'll be really good. Um, so definitely guess those grades and uh, also guess the grades on my other guess the grade videos because we'll probably base giveaways off that. And same rules apply. Uh, say which one you're guessing uh, and what grade level you're guessing for it. And uh, whoever happens to be the uh, first person right for whichever card they're guessing. And the good news for those videos is I get a lot more in depth. Don't bother guessing with the PSA Quest for 100 videos. That is a lot of cards to go through. Um, but you can go to my first card, send up the PSA videos, uh, first 15, and it's a lot less cards to guess through, and those are the ones that we're currently waiting on. It should be here by, like, November or so. Um, and if your buddies or you sell cards, uh, it, it seems to be an issue constantly, even though I make videos about it, and other Poke YouTubers talk about it, and, and collectors. Look, it is way too easy. I mean, way too easy to... <clears throat> a card put it in a penny sleeve and then put it in a top loader you can see that there's a penny sleeve within the top loader you put the card in a penny sleeve you put the card in the top loader and then mail it now you can either use you know tracking or not tracking look i've had some people get upset when i've mailed stuff um and it was like a two dollar card and uh they paid like a buck or two bucks for shipping depending on what i set it to but they already saw the price when they paid as they were paying and the card got to them in exactly the condition that it was supposed to get to them in, and I use a standard mailing envelope. That's my risk on my part. If the card doesn't get to them, they can, they have the right to uh, say it didn't get to them. Sort of had some people lie and say it didn't get to them. They get to keep the card and get their money back. So I'm, I'm going in the, the the trustworthiness of them. But I've had people complain. Um, hey, uh, you charge three four dollars for shipping, but you sent it in a mailing envelope. Well, yeah, the card was a penny though. And uh, did the card get to you in the correct condition? And they're like, yes, the card got to me in exactly as pictured. And I go, okay. And, and so would it make a difference? I would have made the price of the card $4.01 and shipping free. So um, 
but the card still got to the correct condition. So as long as you take the time to protect the cards, you really shouldn't have any arguments about shipping. Um, especially with bubble mailers. The bubble mailers are too easy. You can buy a stack of them off Amazon. You can buy them on eBay for people who are getting out of shipping things on eBay. You can, you know, you can, that's how you can get top loaders, bulk things to top loaders. Used top loaders really doesn't matter as long as there's no dirt inside the top loader. The top loader on the outside can be scratched up left to right. No one cares about the condition of the outside of the top loader. They care about the contents within the top loader. That's why you don't want dirt inside the top loader because then it will still scratch up the card. Like it doesn't take much. They're just little pieces of cardboard that have shiny coloring on them. I don't mean to down talk them, but that's just, that's the truth of it. That's what they are. So um, please spread the word. I will continue as I get things in, uh, in my eBay videos or any sort of shipping via Facebook or something. As I do it marketplace shipping as well. Um, I'll continue to make videos as basically a public service announcement and also for your entertainment. Um, my one video, this one blew my mind. I, I did the video just like two, three videos ago. The person sent like five cards smashed between two top loaders. Instead of just taking two of each card and putting it within the top loader back to back. Um, the reason why you do back to back is because there's no hollow foil on the back of a Pokemon card usually since it's a very special card for some reason. Um, and also let me know what other videos you're looking for guys. I'd love to post what y'all want or what subjects to talk about. Um, I know I've gone off the rails here and there. I had some products I didn't finish. I still haven't finished going through those white boxes of Pokemon cards, and who knows what's in them, honestly. Um, I'm a little slow because, as you know, if you, if you aren't tracking, I'm currently awaiting for my PSA cards to come back. Uh, I said that Charizard and Blastoise in, um, it did have some whiting here and did have a scratch here and there on the front of, mainly the Charizard had like a scratch, sadly. Um, I'd be a lot more confident in receiving a PSA 7 or 8 if it didn't have one little scratch on the front. And it wasn't even on the, on the hollow foil, it was where the text was. Um, but it was one minor scratch. So, we'll see how those go. Um, I got really lucky with those cards. Still wasn't necessarily the cheapest thing. Um, but it was still a pretty good deal, I couldn't pass up. Uh, and then we'll see how we, you know, sell those ebay takes a huge percentage remember that if you're an ebay seller or getting into this that ebay will take a percentage and it will suck when they do it really kills your motivation to do this um i am looking to do bigger giveaways uh tell your friends about us make fake accounts if you need to uh increase the subs i'd love to do some live videos i'm looking to do some pack battles Shout out to you, Vintage Pokemon Hunter Brothers. You know I'm awaiting that pack battle. It can be a whole booster box if it needs to. Uh, I'm looking to do some Darkness and Blaze booster box. I'd like to do Champion's Path, but I don't feel like paying $100, $120 for a box that sells in stores at 40 You just have to be quick enough to get it. I guess the scalpers are there early in the morning because I see it listed in stores, but it's always sold out. We can do a pack battle of any sort. Just let me know, man. Um, sorry, I don't have anyone else's pack battle right now. We can maybe do a three or four way too, who knows? But uh, if you just want to do a pack battle, it can be an individual pack, something like that. Let me know. Message me. Video chat me back. You know, I'm always watching your videos, man. Uh, it's always good to hear from you. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this video. Just putting out the alert on the giveaways. Um, I guess I'll tell us that this is a giveaway video, technically. Um, and we'll go from there. So uh, stay tuned. Maybe we'll have another episode out tomorrow. Really hoping to. I still have to do some organization if that wasn't apparent. I'm trying to get everything kind of organized over onto this table. Um, so yeah, this is technically an organized table. Uh, and then hopefully we can get, start getting more things sent to the PSA. Um, my first set of PSA cards should come back November 11th, unless that Charizard and Blastoise beats them in. Uh, my guess is, is I think that Shadowless Charizard will get a six, hopefully seven. I would feel a lot more confident in the seven if it wasn't for that scratch on the front. Um, and that blast though should get a seven or eight. I'll be really surprised if it doesn't get at least a seven, but we'll see. I know, I mean, there's really, really meticulous, um, but best of luck for me and best of luck for y'all. Um, so, uh, yeah, hit me up and, uh, we'll go from there. Thanks. Bye.